Hi there, my name is Tim Johnson. I just want to share a very quick morning tip with you. Something I adopted several months ago now and has radically changed the way I approach my day. It has given me more energy, a sharper mind, um, being able to achieve my goals. It's helped me lose weight. It's helped me avoid sugar cravings and spikes of energy during the day. Better mood. Better in every way. And it's very, very simple. You probably... You probably, when you hear it, you'll think, well, I knew that anyway. Why didn't, why haven't I been doing that? Well, here we go. I just want to share this quickly with you now. The first thing I do is, or will tell you, is that um, you have to set your alarm probably an hour earlier in the morning. And that's a really hard bit, I suppose. And that takes self-discipline, something that I've had to um, master over the last couple of years. And um, knowing that the things that are often uncomfortable are the things that are best for you. And so set the alarm an hour earlier if you can. And I know that's difficult if you've got busy lives, a busy job, a long commute, children. But you'll find that the benefits far outweigh the disadvantages to this. Then go to for a 20 minute, before you do anything else, a 20 minute to half an hour power walk. And in that time, what you'll find and what happens for me is that my mind will clear. It helps me focus. Obviously, it's good for you and it's good for your cardio, get your circulation going, but you can also clear your head and set your goals for the day, things that need doing, sort things out if you're muddled in your mind. It'll help you do that and get your mind working and thinking and set those goals for the day. When you come home, next thing I do is breathing exercises for five to ten minutes. Um, this is courtesy of the Wim Hof method which I use on a daily basis. Look back at my other videos on the Wim Hof method if it suits you. It's brilliant for you anyway. Anyway, So five to ten minutes of breathing, a bit of stretching and then a cold shower. Again, not comfortable but absolutely brilliant for you. You'll find your energy levels are almost through the roof already. The next thing is breakfast. Um, this is probably the most important bit, the bit that sustain you throughout the day, the bit that people often miss out in their daily routine, which is which is so negative for your body and your mind in every way. So porridge, that much maligned thing. Well, I do something called pimp my porridge, and, and, and I caught, I've learned it off my daughter actually, my oldest daughter, and I've adopted it ever since. Best thing I ever did. Proper porridge oats, not. Um, not those ones that have got added sugar or instant porridge or anything rubbishy like that. If you can get the proper rolled oats, uh, whole grain if you can, but proper rolled oats. Um, then make the porridge with oat milk. So a cup of porridge, cup of oat milk, cup of water, microwave, three to five minutes, stir, microwave again, two to three minutes, let it stand, stir, and then pimp it. And the things I pimp it with are as follows, <laughs> where you can do what you like, it's a, it, whatever you want to put in it, as long as it's healthy. Chopped banana and blueberries are my two favourite fruits to put in it. I then put in some um, pumpkin seeds and some sunflower seeds. I then put in something really important, um, chia seeds. If you've not had these, they've been around for many thousands of years. The Mayans used to use them. In fact, they used to have two spoonfuls and discovered they could march for a day on them. Um, these are amazing things, a superfood. You can get them in any supermarket. Chia seeds. Um, finally, some all bran. And that's just pure bran. Not bran flakes, pure bran, all bran. Give it all a really good stir around and that's your pimp porridge. And while I eat that porridge, in the 10-15 minutes it takes, I find a podcast which will teach me something. Something that will stimulate me, something that I've, 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 I've not known before, something that will perhaps educate me. And that's how I start my day. And uh, I find that once I've done those things and I want to get on with my day, I accomplish so much. My mood stays level. I don't have sugar spikes or sugar cravings during the day. I um, have constant energy all day to do whatever. I don't feel like eating till three or four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm not hungry. I lose weight. Um, sharp mind, better in every way. So give it a try. Start your day that way. Give it a go. Bit of self-discipline getting up a bit earlier but it's worth every second i assure you and that's a quick morning tip morning glory what's a story much love to you all take care carpe diem